Ah, today I'm gonna help you fix your bad knees. A lot of people are in a lot of pain. Maybe they're taking up running and I love that. But the thing about it is it's a lot of impact. It's a lot of the repetitive motion and it's creating pain in your knees. So today I'm gonna help you build a routine that you should be doing every single day that's gonna help to fix your knees once and for all. Number one is that you need to start your morning with a knee mobility routine. And so I've got a ton of videos on our YouTube channel, Fit Club Winnipeg, you're obviously watching it right now. Go in there, you'll see some mo mobility routines. If not, you can message us and we'll be able to send those to you. But have a routine that's two to three minutes that's focused on knee mobility so that you can get your joints warm and get ready for the day. Number two is that you should buy these heat wraps Okay, so they're knee pads that you have inserts of the heat packs, you put them in the mic, and while you're sitting at work, or whether you're sitting at your desk or you're driving, have them wrapped around your knees because heat is the way to go, okay? Go and throw some ice on your knees and tell me how you feel after 10 minutes of, of having those ice on your knees and then go for a walk. You're not gonna feel great. Throw heat on there and keep heat on all day, I guarantee you that your knees right there, your knee problems are all going to be solved. So pick up yourself some heat packs, they're like 20 bucks on Amazon, and just have them everywhere you go. Keep the heat in there, let the blood flow, let it naturally heal itself, and keep the muscles pliable. Now, before you go out for a big run, make sure that you're actually doing some type of warm up. Don't just do a light run to warm up, like actually do some stretches, do some dynamic movements. This way you can get the body flowing, like do some foot sweepers, do some quad stretches. Just get everything loose, pliable, and mobile before you actually go for your run. Then you can do a slow run to start off and then you could accelerate your runs as you go. Now, when you're done exercising, and especially running, don't just stop. Don't just check your heart rate, check how many calories you burnt, don't, and check how far you've gone. Go inside, take a shower, go to bed. Like you actually, while the muscles are warm, you need to get down on the floor, stretch out your calves, stretch out your hamstrings, stretch out your quads, stretch out your glutes. So after you're done any type of exercise, make sure that you're actually spending anywhere from three to five minutes stretching out the muscles that you've used. Now you need to be taking the right supplements. Me personally, the one supplement that I'm really into right now is called the Joint Pro Formula. And that one has stuff for your knee joints. It helps lubricate the joints, but it's also a natural inflammatory, anti-inflammatory. Also get a lot of greens in your body so that you can create an alkaline environment. Make sure that you're drinking enough water and make sure that you're consuming ample amounts of amino acids and you're hitting your protein goals. Then throughout the day, make sure that you're moving more, right? If you're like me, I go from extreme activity to a lot of sitting to extreme activity. That's, that's, the, that's the recipe for disaster, right? Now I'm moving more throughout my day, so I'll be on a computer, I'll get up and I'll do a quick mobility, just do some squats, get the blood flowing, but never let everything kind of sit and become hardened and cause pain. So throughout your day, make sure that you're intentionally moving. And the last but not least, before you go to bed, use your bed as a stretching tool. Like hook your foot onto the back of the bed, stretch out your quad, get your leg up there, stretch out your glutes, use the wall, stretch out your chest. So there we go, guys. I'm hoping to help you fix those bad knees. Get your mobility routine going. Buy those heat packs, keep them on all day, warm up before you train, stretch after, take the right supplements, move more throughout the day, and last but not least, stretch before you go to bed. Hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.